Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to actually be going after a Nido King. And I mentioned this a few episodes ago that I wanted to start doing a series where I do a how to train your blank. And in this case, it's going to be how to train your Nido King. So what we're going to do today is go out, get a Nido King, make sure it has the correct ability that I want, the correct nature that I want, EV train it, get the right move set, get everything exactly done how I want it for my team as best as possible. And we should be able to do that hopefully all in this one episode. Now I want to preference this entire video and this entire series by every Pokemon can have multiple different viable movesets, abilities, natures. There are a lot of different ways to use every single Pokemon. So this isn't necessarily the best way to use it, but it is one of the best ways to use it, I would say. Uh, but there might be other options out there for you. You can change up the moveset. You can change up the nature if you want something a little different. It's not going to make a massive impact most of the time. Uh, but there are certain things that I will say are pretty much required in the different Pokemon. So, for example, for this Nidoking, King, we're going to have to get hidden ability Sheer Force for it to work at all. Without that, there's just no point in really using the same move pool that I plan on using. So, first step in getting our Nidoking, King, that is going to be going out and finding some Nidorans or some Nidorinos to go ahead and evolve into a Nidoking, King and we also need to get the hidden ability that is one out of 175 chance of appearing so what we're probably going to use is the Pokey Designer to go ahead and get that ability because otherwise we're going to be here all day and someone just got a Shadow Caterpie feels bad you know what actually Shadow Caterpie isn't terrible uh, but definitely not my favorite let's go ahead and jump into battle here and put this Nidoran down to one HP try and catch him now in terms of the nature, I believe we're going to go with Timid. And I'm actually getting some help from one of the moderators here on the server, Blazing Fox. I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. If you've played on the server, he's been a senior mod for a very long time. And he's really good at the Pokemon game, really good at designing teams and whatnot. And so he helped me out a little bit. I did say that I wanted a Sheer Force Nidoking, King, and he just kind of put together the move pool and the nature and what IVs and different things I should get. Uh, probably could have figured it out, but my <laughs> mine would probably be slightly worse. So I figured I'd get some help with this. So let's go ahead and grab this Nidoran. Yeah, Nidoran. This is right there. I don't, I'm blind apparently. Uh, Nidoran. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at them. I think we caught the last one. So. Yeah, we have two of them now. Is there any other ones just kind of out in the open? There's a Nidorina, but we don't want that. I don't, okay, I don't see any other Nidoran. Oh, here's one. Okay, we'll catch one more just to take a look at it and see if maybe we get any decent ones. Now, I know the IVs are going to be pretty off and the nature is probably not going to be correct. I, I really need to finish up my synchronized collection so that I can get the right nature every single time uh, but we do not have a timid synchronized Pokemon so that's unlucky let's actually wow there's so many Pokemon spawned in here let's go ahead and take a look at these three so they're all pretty low level actually they're all 16 which is interesting the exact same level Ivy's two terrible Ivy's three even worse Ivy's four okay so this one is actually the best because it does have 31 in HP, and we are going to be using special attack for this Nino King. So we also have this Nino King here, which is actually selling for 5,000 in the GTS. We're going to go ahead and buy it just because it's fairly cheap, and we can take a look at it and see if there's anything of any value here. So Ivy's five, and no, it's kind of a waste of money. Let's go ahead and check all their natures, see if any of them have the timid nature. Unfortunately, that is going to be a no as well. So what we're actually going to do is... I'm going to ask if anybody... Ooh, Shadow Scyther. That's awesome. I keep I keep seeing the messages pop up in chat. There's currently a 40% off sale across the entire network. Ranks on Crystal are actually 60% off. So if you do want to check that out, uh, maybe pick yourself up some Shadow Eggs, you can do that over at buy.pokecentral.org. Uh, but for now, let's... Okay, so what we need to do is either get a timid, synchronized Pokemon, try to catch another Nidoran that has the correct nature, or... We just go ahead and toss these guys into... They're all male, so how do we... We need a Nido, Nidorino. How do we... Can you not breed Nidokings without a Ditto, then? Because otherwise, it'll give you a Nido, Nidoran egg, right? So, well, I guess you could use other Pokemon from the same egg group. No, that won't work, because that's still... That'll give you the other... Yeah, I think you have to use a Ditto. 
Do we have a ditto? I don't believe we do, unless I bought one at some point. So, otherwise, breeding's kind of out of the question there if we don't have a ditto, which I don't think we do. But we do have this knit arena we can take a look at in our PC already, uh, and this one. So we'll grab those two just to take a look real quick and see if there's anything of any value on either of them. IV6. Okay, 31 speed. I might go with this one then. An IV5, 31 defense. Okay. Interesting. I think we're going to have to go with the Nidorino that we already had in our PC, and we'll just throw the rest of these in here. And yeah, so we can't really breed without a ditto. That's unfortunate. I didn't even think about that. So this actually makes things a little bit more complicated. Ah, uh, guys, so there's actually a bug on the server right now where certain Pokemon will spawn in with aura effects like this, the yellow, uh, not aura effects, just general effects because we call we call pokemon aura effects but you know what i mean they have particle effects around them and it's it's just a bug it's actually going to be removed at the next restart so it's probably only going to be in here for a couple hours already gone by the time this video gets uploaded but we got one sitting here might as well grab it real quick i'll probably have to remove the aura for everyone at some point either that or make this a regular thing that appears on the server let me know what you guys think do you like having pokemon spawn in that have particle effects or would you rather uh, none of them have have particle effects, but as you can see, has a cool yellow particle effect. Actually, I think it is pretty cool. I think it is, but I'm not I'm not sure. I might go ahead and allow it to be a thing. I know shadow Pokemon that spawn in the wild have the aura, and if you get them out of an egg, currently they do not. That is something that might change, uh, but for now, if you catch a wild shadow Pokemon, they get a purple little particle effect around them. And someone just got a Shadow Lugia out of a Shadow Egg. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's let's move things along here. Let's see. What do we need to do first? So I think what we're going to do is actually just go crazy with the Pokey Designer. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably want me to get it more, more so legit. But the problem with that is I only have a couple hours to record these videos. I can't really sit on the server for eight hours trying to catch a hidden ability Nidoran or Nidorino. So what we're going to do is we're going to visit the Pokey Designer and we're going to go ahead and probably going to need more gems, if I'm being honest. We're going to go ahead and just bulk this guy up into exactly what we need. So we're going to start off down here with the ability. And we're going to go ahead and give him Hustle, which is his hidden ability when he turns into Nitto King. That'll turn into Sheer Force. And I'll go ahead and let you guys know what that does once we actually get our Nitto King, once we get everything set up. And then we're going to move on over into nature, and we want to get them timid, which should be right here. All right, and that's going to cost us 1,200 gems. Um, growth doesn't matter. Form doesn't matter. Pokeball doesn't matter. Gender, he's male. Uh, IVs and EVs. Shinies, we could do a shiny, but I think we're going to pass on that. And then level is fine where it is right now. Now, in terms of the different stats, we are going to want to EV train him. So I'll actually go ahead and do that legit out in the wild. We don't need to really mess around with our EVs here. And if we go ahead and take a look at our IVs, we already have max speed, which is great. We don't have max special defense, but we are pretty close. So I think I'm going to bump that up to full just because it's already really, really close. Uh, attack does not matter. HP does matter. Defense does matter. Let's go ahead and put a couple points into defense and a couple points into speed. And let's see, or not speed, special attack. Uh, 24. All right, we can put three more IVs into special attack. And actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to subtract the defense ones for now. Put them back to 19. And we can add six here then. So that should put us up to... Oh, okay, we can add two more. Okay. Uh, special attack. There we go. And looking on back. All right, so... We're going to be broke here, but we got slightly better Pokemon, bumping him up from 65 to 72% IVs and giving him Timid, giving him Hidden Ability, and Confirm. There we go. So now this guy is a little bit closer to being exactly where we want him. So I think we're good to go ahead and actually evolve him now. We're going to get his move pool all set up, so warp on over to the shop. Let's get him evolved, and let's start working on his move set. So... Uh, first things first, we need, I believe, a Dusk Stone, a Moonstone. I think it's a Moonstone. Pretty sure. Let's go ahead, toss him out here, and should evolve straight away. 
There we go, and Nidorino is evolving into a Nidoking, and then we can go ahead and take a look at the Sheer Force ability, what exactly it does, while we're going ahead and picking out our moves, because it is very, very vital to the moveset that I am going to be using on my Nidoking. All right, so we got our Nidoking, looking awesome. Probably one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. I, I really do enjoy uh, the Gen 1 Pokemon. But let's go ahead and head up the elevator here and take a look at the different moves that we can go ahead and get on our Nidoking. So his ability, Sheer Force, let's look at it. Uh, did it not work when I... Did I give him the wrong ability with Poke Designer? I think I did. Oh, weird. It switched back when I... Interesting. Okay, so I recommend when you go ahead and give your ability modifications to your Pokemon, make sure they're already the maximum evolution. Seems like there's a little bit of a bug there where they lose their hidden ability if they evolve. So there's just a little recommendation. If you are going to be giving your Pokemon hidden ability, make sure to go ahead and do it once they're already at the maximum evolution. All right, so moving back into here, I gave myself a bunch more gems. There we go. We got Sheer Force now. Uh, let's go ahead and also take a look at the IVs again. Let's go ahead and just max out his special attack. That's going to be important. And then let's also max out his HP if we can and his defense if we can. Uh, attack does not matter. That's going to cost us quite a bit, but he should be pretty much good to go now. I'm going to leave attack at 17 because I don't want to waste gems on something we're not really going to need. And he's a special attacker, as I've said. Let's go ahead and take a look at his ability now. So Sheer Force removes additional effects and increases move damage. Now, basically what that means is any move that has a secondary effect, for example, Flamethrower has a chance to burn the enemy. What's going to happen is it no longer can burn, but it gets a 30% increase in damage. So that's going to be super helpful in just dealing out as much damage as possible, especially with his really good special attack. Uh, currently, he's only level 25, so it doesn't look so great, but we'll get him up there pretty soon here. So because of this ability, what we need to do is make sure we choose moves that have a secondary effect in order to take advantage of it. So the first move, as I already mentioned, is going to be Flamethrower. We're actually going to go ahead and check back warp or slash home. We're going to check and see if we have these TMs before we go ahead and buy them, uh, just so we don't waste money on things that we already own. I do have quite a few TMs, so let's see. What do we have here? Do we have an Earth Power TM? All right, we do not. So I want Earth Power. I want Flamethrower. We do have. Let's see, do we have, I want Ice Beam, and I want to go ahead and say that we should probably put, okay, so Sludge Wave we don't actually have, I could put Scald, and I think that would take advantage because it does have a chance to burn. Uh, it wouldn't be my first choice, or or the moves that Blazing recommended is actually Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Sludge Wave, and Earth Power. So what I think we're going to do is go ahead and get Scald, and then we're going to go over to the store, and we're going to buy a Sludge Wave TM. And the reason that I'm not going to be getting Earth Power is just because it's a Move Tutor move. If we ever come across a Move Tutor that happens to have Earth Power, we'll go ahead and swap out Scald for that move instead. Although, actually, you know what? I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt instead. Do we have Thunderbolt TM? Yeah, we do. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt instead. So while Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and then the Poison move, which I think Thunderbolt is still pretty good on Nido King. Chance to Paralyze means we're taking advantage of the extra damage there with Sheer Force. So that is always good. Come on, guys. Why you got a litter on the elevator? Now I got to pick it all up. Uh, okay, so now we got to look for the Poison type where... Fire, Flying, Normal, Poison. Okay, cool. Hello. And Sludge Wave. How much is it? 20? Oh, wow, it's really expensive. Okay, that's fine. So we have our four moves that we're going to be using for now. Of course, we can always replace Earth Power later. I don't think it's a TM. Uh, where's Ground? I just got to find it real quick. We'll, we'll check. We'll see if it's a TM, but I, I could have sworn it wasn't. No, it's not. Okay, so it's Move Tutor only. Uh, and I don't believe he actually can learn it in the Move Relearner. So let's just go ahead and start teaching him these moves. We'll replace Leer, we'll replace Focus Energy, we'll replace Double Kick, and we'll replace Horn Attack. And now his move pool is looking uh, pretty nice here. Like, this is probably one of my best setups for the move pool. One of my favorite, anyways. I really like the uh, high damage, just straight up attack moves. It's why I really love Nido King in this setup, because I don't have to bother with any sort of, like, setup moves or anything like that. It's really just click the move that's best to counter the Pokemon that you're fighting, and you're good to go. So next step, I guess, is Eevee training. 
Also, I did go ahead and buy this epic clue scroll that we could maybe look into trying to complete at some point soon. Uh, it does look a little bit rough. We have to catch three Dratini, which I'm not really too excited for. Uh, but we have it all the same, just in case we do come across something on there. Now, what I need to figure out is what Pokemon is the best to go after when trying to get special attack EVs. So the way that EVs actually work is it takes whatever the Pokemon's highest stat is. So if the highest stat is special attack and you defeat that wild Pokemon, then you'll go ahead and get some special attack EVs. So I'm going to go ahead and look up, see what is the most common Pokemon that has special attack EVs. And we'll go ahead and start grinding out the EV training. So it looks like Numal. Numal actually gives one special attack. Let's go ahead and put our power lens, which gives us a bonus of four. And let's go ahead and defeat a Numal and see if this will work. So, so it doesn't really matter what move we use against him. Let's just go ahead and use anything, pretty much. Of course, not Thunderbolt, but the other ones uh, doesn't really matter too much because he is a fairly easy Pokemon to take out. So if we go ahead and check our EVs now, EVs 1, we're going to be sitting at 5 special attack EVs. The max that you want is 252, so I'm going to go for 252 on special attack. Uh, we have quite a few Numal spawning in around here, so it shouldn't be too difficult. What I normally like to do is go to uh, Magikarps, although wait a second. Does Caterpie give special attack? No. Okay. Darn. I was kind of thinking it's Caterpie Might, and we could just go to the spawn training area, but that's fine. Let's go after these Numals, and let's see about getting this Nidoking to the maximum possible stats. Uh, we should be at 10 now, and we have a long ways to go, uh, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, so as you can see in chat right there, we are at 252 special attack EVs, so we can no longer use our power lens because that only works for special attack. So I need to interrupt real quick. Uh, this is Wispin from the future after the video was recorded. I, I kind of accidentally trained my Nidoking King in HP EVs instead of speed. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I don't don't ask, but what you actually want to do if you're trying to get a really good sheer forced Nidoking King is go for the special attack as well as the speed EVs. Put the extras into something like special defense, although those six extra EVs really don't make that much of a difference. So uh, speed and special attack, those are the ones you want to go for. If I say HP, just pretend that I said speed because uh, I was a little confused. That, that happens sometimes. <laughs> okay. I don't happen to have, I think it's a power band power bracer something the green one <laughs> that gives you increased hp evs so what we're gonna do instead is use a macho brace and basically what that does is double the output of any evs that you obtain from wild pokemon so if we come across a pokemon that gives three hp evs it'll give six instead now the power item is actually a whole lot better than this macho brace but it's all we got so it's it's kind of just the only thing we have to use at the moment. So I could check GTS and see. Oh, there is actually one. 8,000 gold. Yes. Okay, never mind, guys. Macho Brace, go away. We got a power weight. What is that? Is actually what it is called. And I believe that is for HP. So we can put away our Macho Brace. I don't know why this thing was selling for so cheap. I, I didn't think they were that common. I thought they were pretty rare. Um, but okay, sure. I mean, if you're going to be selling for 8K, I'm just going to buy, I'm just going to buy a power bracer. I'm going to buy uh, this anklet as well. Maybe I'm getting ripped off here, but I feel like I'm getting a pretty good deal. 16K, a little bit more pricey, but even that, I feel like it's just worth it to have a full set. So now we should have all except for the, uh, which one? Oh, the green one. No, we have them all now. Cool. So we have all, all six power items. We have the green one over on Nitto King. Uh, we have all of these here. So it looks like we're good to go with any EV training that we need to do going forward. So looking at the different Pokemon that give you HP EVs, we got Caterpie, we have Lapras, we have Muck, we have Slowpoke, we have Clefairy, uh, actually Nitto Ran, Nitto Arena, Nitto Queen. We also have Chansey, but that's super rare. Uh, Hoot Hoot's a little more common. So it's been about 20 minutes and I've got my HP EVs up to 250. Let's go ahead and actually just use the Pokey Designer to go ahead and finish this up. So we need two HP and we need four speed and that should get us up to the maximum that we need. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw six in there just so we are completely capped out. Uh, and actually EVs in the Pokemon Designer, it's not bad. It's, it's actually really cheap. It's only eight gems to go ahead and finish that up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually put some levels on him as well. Let's just go, you know what? Mm. 
we'll give him ten. We'll give him ten extra levels, uh, just to make it a little easier to fight some wild Pokemon and things. And that's gonna be a hundred gems in total. Let's go to make that purchase and take a look at his EVs now, which should be capped out at one hundred percent. So we're not quite finished yet. We still need to go ahead and pick out our held item, which what I'm actually gonna be going with is a choice band, choice scarf, choice specs, choice. Which, which one are we using? <laughs> Let me go check the document. A choice scarf. Okay, yes. We're going to be using a choice scarf, which goes ahead and actually, I believe, doubles our speed. But it makes it so that you can only use one. Does it double? So I believe it boosts our speed by 50% and makes it so that you can only use one move per battle. So if you go ahead and use, for example, Thunderbolt, then the other three moves will be locked off until you switch off of Nidoking. But that's pretty much all we needed to do. So now we have our held item, which is a choice scarf. We have our hidden ability, which is sheer force. We have our move pool, which we might replace Thunderbolt with earth power. Uh, since he is ground type, that'll probably be a little bit better. It'll give us the stab bonus as well. And then we have in our stats, we have a pretty good uh, special attack. It does look really low right now. Keep in mind, he's only level 37. We need to get him up to level 100 to go ahead and really see how the EVs and the IVs affect his stats and how high this special attack should get. I believe it should get to... I believe his special attack will get around 270. I could be off on that somewhere around there. The last thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is actually just because he is completed and what I'm going to do for all my Pokemon that I complete for my main team, which this Nidoking King's definitely going to be on my main team, we're going to go ahead and shiny a 5M just so that we do have the shiny variant in our party and we're also we're also gonna go ahead and change up that pokeball now we need the same six pokeballs for our entire team so we need to decide which one we want kind of leaning towards either the luxury ball premier ball the luxury ball or the premier ball and i think i'm leaning towards the luxury ball a little bit more so we're gonna try that out uh making our entire team be in luxury balls and it doesn't eh, maybe not i think i like premier because it does give that little particle effect so let's let's test that real quick and boom yeah okay we're sticking with premier balls that looks pretty cool and nitto king looks awesome <laughs> i kind of would prefer a shroud nitto king which is the aura form but unfortunately we weren't really able to get that uh, but this guy this guy's pretty awesome and i think he's good to go so I did actually change up his EVs. I've moved them from HP to speed. He's perfectly good to go now. If you are going to be making yourself a Nitto King, I definitely recommend using something similar to this layout, unless you're not going to be using Sheer Force and you're just going to go for a physical attack Nitto King, which is definitely possible as well. But anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end it. If you guys did enjoy this sort of uh, how to train a certain Pokemon series, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video and let me know down in the comments what Pokemon do you want me to try to get the best variant of next. And I'll definitely make sure to go ahead and read those. If one gets a ton of upvotes, I'll probably go ahead and do it in a future episode. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.